Okay, being a black folks, in on the magnifier right off the bat because it's important, okay? So you're going to end up having to deal with what's on the bar down here. And what we're looking at is this is behind again, H1B behind. It doesn't matter if it's, it should be two. Now, no matter what, I can put it on the slide bar, but you see what they're hiding? Okay, now what this should be is, I'm speculating, that's why I wanted to make the video real fast. We could have something that could interfere with our magnetical on the bottom of Earth because basically this should be Earth somewhere along this line from B and blacked out is the sun with the coloring that they did yesterday to, to hide the sun and I was like, well, what? yeah, because they can put the blue ink on and cover up the sun to shade it to get a view. So no matter what, this is probably Earth up here. Somewhere along this line is Earth. And no matter what, we've got some large interesting, but then this could just be the spiral to, of the umbilical cord of the sun, which basically, I am basically somewhat, no matter what, it's somewhere in this area. And no matter what, this looks to be the largest. But then that could be the largest too, but we get massive distances and then we got objects that could be black, darkness, something up there. So what we'll do is we'll keep hitting play on this, on the magnifier, and I think I'll take the magnifier down one, and have to go up one more to get it in the shot. But this is what we're getting from, as you can see, it's uh, H1 behind H12. So anyway, we no matter what, they are blocking the sun, or because basically that's what I kind of found the other day that they were blocking the sun. When you see the white, they're putting the color on to block the sun. Then also it's hard to tell with what they're blocking to see too. So no matter what, it sure seems that they're blocking that down. That, that could be the sun down there. You see, because they can do that satellite 360 degrees. But then again. This could be the sun here, and then all the, so we know that there's huge objects around the sun, and it's pretty busy on the sun. No matter what, the magnetic line, Earth should be in this shot, because basically that's what they're behind, and they're taking a look at Earth. I think this could be Earth right there. That's what I'm pretty sure that that's probably Earth, because it's the closest thing. Earth or Jupiter on H12b is what we should be seeing on H12b. So no matter what, on the compression, uh try to get it back over here so we can see it but basically that's what's getting blocked out and see if I can go up a little bit to keep tool right in there but it could be something up here too that they're looking at but it really kind of doubt it gets crowded from down here from somewhere on the magnetical line of earth because earth is the biggest magnetical line we should have there so we'll go to check out what I can check out so because you can freeze all that and take a look at that and save some tape time being a black folks and I think we found what basically we've got up to the left of the sun when we were looking at Sechi, and we'll get into Sechi and look at it. And basically, our I item is basically that number that you just seen on the other. And what I'm looking at is right here, in which this is a helium star, not an oxygen. Okay, and then it's straight across as you see our web laterals and so forth there in the sky. And I'm going to play with that stuff too much. As you can see, take them down and put them up. Okay, but there they are, coordinates, and there it is, somewhat, but also, this is what we're looking at. Now, this is a constellation. Okay. And as you see, it'll switch there. So, Let's go ahead and hit this again. So that tells you that where is it at? And then the moon is there, Venus. So basically it's in conjunction with the sun somehow. Something's going on. And that's the constellation that it's in, so I gotta look up that. So hang on. This is important information for meteor showers and so forth, so, and this is all actual factual and I'll just point so that it, it won't mess with the audio on the damn thing, so no matter what, I got this here, okay? So this is what ends up, and then we got it in our atmosphere because of Fuka Fudge up, right? So we get magnetically connected to a lot of stuff in space because that 
pushes more radioactivity up to our ionosphere and it has to hopefully escape and that's what we want to do and hopefully that's what the governments are doing is pushing those nuclear radii out of our atmosphere into space. Are they? Hmm. Still doesn't matter. We got contamination. Now I wasn't leading you to Draco and then there's some more information to go look on this stuff. <clears throat> and basically the number one thing is Beta Gamma. I told you about that. And basically whether it went off out in Nevada or not, uh, static is the only thing I'll say. So then, basically, <clears throat> and beta gamma is what you're looking for. Okay. A duh, neutron. It's all radioactive. It's all electric. Okay. And the sun is radioactive also. So don't just may yourself. Anybody that pays attention to my is basically a scientist anyway, because you got a brain, okay? So, neutron, there you go. And then, beta gamma, okay? Beta gamma. So, and like they say, even here, they're worried about being anybody, so basically, they kind of trying to, basically, you got your web links here and stuff, and you can go to the monitoring and stuff like that. So, what we get will with what we will get, so, too, so, we're stuck with it. If we could fudge up. Okay. That's what my website looks like. This is the most pertinent information here that everything's fine because that comet's not going to hit Earth at all. So, and we're going to try to find our objects that all of a sudden peeky poo. Yes, NASA, and we now we know stuff's there for sure, and also the other stuff. And also, all these items here are interesting things to keep an eye on. And yes, you'll have a hard time trying to find some of this stuff because basically it's the stuff that they're most interested in looking at. Okay the powers to be. So they pay for their astronomical time and looking at the observations and everything like that, but I can give you some of the information of it. Here's Judy, she's in charge I think of the, some of the stuff and she's saying how we're on NBC now and everything like that and this was back in 2009 and stuff, but it's still basically, it's a helium star so they won't really talk about it. <coughs> you better be careful about what you say about helium lately or in the future. So anyway, this is all the information on that star there. Names. And basically you see the Hertz. And yes. For national defense reasons and stuff like that. Basically you're just going to have to read. Anyway, it's on the internet. You'll always be able to get it. Clouds and all that crap, whatever. They can't hide anything. They need to let everybody be able to communicate with each other, so... Let's see what else we got. And then basically we got some information here. And I'll tell you about all the telescopes that are watching. And so anyway, we're scientists and we're communicating because we got brains. So basically I'll have a list here in a little bit too of all the and basically this is what we are So you see it slowed down, so what's going on with that star and then what's going on with the sun, so we'll keep watching that. And you've seen the name down there at the very bottom, yep. Power, money, and control. So they know what's going on. So like you see, it's nothing new. But you want to look at that constellation for it, so it's been doing some, as they say here, she says the same thing, agencies, she puts out what she says, and So kind of keep this underneath your hat a little bit. You can see from me showing you the links here. And you can see all the locations here. You got to look all this stuff up and then you can know. Radiation. And then you'll know why basically they can't keep uh, certain explosions. So then you'll know the truth whether there was a one or not. So... 
Then we got these links here also, so we'll check out that also. And there is your That's what it is. I don't know if I blanked it up, messed it, but you can be able to research that. Let's go ahead and go to... And yes, folks, when you read these here, basically, scientists always collaborate. So basically, I can pump that up a little bit in size, I think. I don't know when it's going to spread us right or left, but there you go. Now, 5%, and as you can see, we're always re increasing right now, so we're on an increase. Okay. And what that is, is basically, absolutely, it's your cosmic ray spectrum. The number one thing is pay attention to is check this out. So Tibet, high altitude, it's getting that reading. So, are we getting that from outer space? Or are we getting it for Fuka Fudja? No matter what, things are making connections out in space. And it's exactly what I just said. It's your real-time cosmic ray spectrum. Radioactivity, ladies and gentlemen, it's all electrical, it's all connections. Yes, I'm an electrician, and yes, I could probably build a nuclear BOMB. So relax, everybody. Everybody gets monitored and everybody gets watched. They know exactly where Bino's at all the time. I'm an American, so there's no fears there. Biggest hammer in the world, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest hammer in the world. The United States of America has it. So anyway, it's all electrical. Keep an eye on everything that's going on in your planetoid area. Watch the weather. Watch your electrical. It's all electrical, ladies and gentlemen. It's right from the roof's mouth here. Hoof's mouth. So anyway, how you've been up in solar speed... And now we're basically dipped and coming back up. So now we're on the rise again. And as you can see here, it's trying to make its mind up what it wants to do. It's done the same thing here, but it still rose. So we're going to get some more before it goes down. As you can see here, pretty much the rule of law. Physics. It's all physics. It's all scientific. It's all math. The protons... And yes... The mind is a terrible thing to waste, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go. Keep an eye on the sun. Keep watching it. And there's our signals that we're getting from out there. And the idea that, yep, signals are getting cut off. So there's stuff out there. So we're getting, there's something in space. It's a, whether it, we got to find out whether it's solar wind. And this is of, of recent, so the idea that we have another object or something, and then, then that's our magnetical, and then we shiver and shake on Earth, and we get earthquakes, okay? So, let's go out and look at Sechi. I don't know if it'll be in this video or the next. I think I'm going to start up my own non-profit weather channel, basically donations, so get ready to donate. So, always watch on full screen, and everything will be fine. Just keep on watching with NASA and JPL. And no fear here, because basically I just showed you always watch on full screen and read it all. But anyway, watch the sky, always have your eyes in the air. Keep your head up, ladies and gentlemen. United States of America. Everything is just all hunky-dory. The biggest hammers in the world. And somebody's not, it doesn't matter what his name is, not the smartest guy in the world. It's all proportional integral derivatives. So, keep your eyes open. Keep watching Sechi and everything. And watch Bino. Keep up with me.
Keep an eye on the sky and keep an eye on the megahertz. Micro to mega. Watch out.